What is up, sports bettors? It is Matt Modi with Odds Jam coming to you today, Friday, August 26th, giving you some early best bets for tomorrow's MLB betting slate. So odds have been posted for tomorrow, Saturday, August 27th, which means that there are early lines for us to try and attempt to find pricing discrepancies, sharp, mathematically profitable bets to place tomorrow. Of course, all of the bets that I find, I use the Ajdam positive expected value page for. When sports betting, if you don't have some sort of edge, it can be very difficult to make money. Ajdam is a tool that does provide an edge for you. Generally, sports books, because of the vig, the juice they hold on the market, they generally hold the edge over the sports bettors. But using a tool like Ajdam, like the positive expected value page, is a way you can gain an edge over the sports books, especially now that these recommended filters have been launched. So the recommended filters only provide betting opportunities in which you are truly getting a pricing discrepancy over the sports books that you're placing the bet with. Also, making sure that you are only placing betting opportunities in which you have a tight market shown here by the low market width you see on all of these bets. So the two yes run first inning bets that I have for tomorrow, you see are on the screen here. Both are going to be half unit plays for me. And we're looking at the Mariners versus Guardians, yes run first inning and the Cardinals versus Braves, yes run first inning. So I have both of the bets. So I have the first one up here, yes run first inning and the Guardians versus Mariners game, half a unit that bet has been placed. So now I need to go back to the MLB and I just need to lock in the next game which is the Cardinals versus the Braves. So again, go to schedule. got to scroll down to tomorrow's betting slate. And we're looking at the Cardinals versus the Braves. And here we have it. Bet has been placed. So both, uh, well, now the bet has been placed. So both of these sharp, mathematically profitable bets have been locked in on Caesars. So let's chat about them. So I hinted at the recommended filters only providing betting opportunities that are true outliers across the landscape of the betting market, the totality of the betting market. And I've also talked about the tight market width to highlight on those things and to dig a little bit deeper. So the betting market, the way odds work, right? If we want to start at the top, all sports books have their own proprietary method of setting odds. Their end goal is to have equal payout on both sides. So no matter what, no matter what, in terms of who wins or who loses or whatever the outcome is, if they can get 50% payout on both sides, they will have made whatever the juice they charged on the market. And all sports books, they change odds as money comes in. What this means is that all different sports books are going to have different odds based on how they receive money. And more importantly, it means that not all sports books are going to have the correct odds. So what the Ajdam positive expected value page does, and with these new formulas, the new recommended filters, the new EV percents, what uh, the Ajdam formula does is it takes into account all of the different sharp markets takes a weighted average, and then use, using the Odds Jam system, constantly looking at lines, constantly and scanning all of the sports books and what they have odds at, provides opportunities in which we can get better odds than that weighted average on another sports book. That's why the recommended filters is such a valuable tool. You just need to give it time. You need to understand that it's still sports betting, right? You're still going to be having losing wagers, losing days. That's just the nature of sports betting. So this is the third week that the sports books, or excuse me, that um, the recommended filters have been live. The first week went really, really well, up 900 bucks. Last week didn't go so well, down 550. This week, um, up a slight amount, like 40 bucks. What I will say is I had a couple bets not placed from the recommended filters that ended up losing. So jokes on me there. But all in all, still in the green, even regardless of these bets that I placed not on the filter, right? So you need to understand that these bad weeks are gonna happen. The goal is to just be green in the long run. So track how profitable you are with the recommended filters and also what your unit size is. And then if you wanna increase the cost, of, or excuse me, increase your unit size to make more money, you can scale that up. So if you have a $10 unit size, and you'll know what you could have made if you had upped your unit size. Kind of an easy way to go about that there. So all in all, the recommended filters, we try to, we tell people mostly give it 250 bets and you'll mo and you're almost guaranteed to be profitable after those 250 bets, especially now that we have more and more sports going on, college football starting tomorrow. 
NFL is starting in two weeks. Incredibly exciting stuff. It means that we'll have even more options, more stuff to bet on, which means even more profitable plays. But for this play specifically, so let's talk about these individual ones now that we kind of know how things work. So the bet that I placed it at was on Caesars. At, the first one was at my, or excuse me, plus 120 odds. So the odds jam line with their weighted average calculates the no vig odds of this to be roughly plus 113, plus, I round that up to plus 114, and only 17 cents in market width. So a couple things to talk about here. So the 17 cents in market width is taken from both sides of the odds jam line. So 16 plus one equals 17. Logic being the closer these two numbers are together, the more confident they are in what they're pricing the lines at. It means a tighter market, which means they're more confident in the lines, which is why we want low market width. We want a tight market. Number two, if we look at all of the other books, so right now it's just FanDuel that, that has pricing. It prices it kind of in the middle. So between the Ajdam line and what Caesars prices it at. Still showing that this plus 120 is a discrepancy, right? All in all, equates to a profit margin of roughly 3% just a below 3%, which means that for every 100 bucks spent on this play, you could figure to make $3. Not breaking the bank by any means on one individual bet, but the goal of course is to place multiple positive EV wagers, have that profit compound upon each other and you'll start to see your profits go up. So like for me, and this is bets for today, bets for tomorrow, bets for futures, all that stuff. I have about $2,000 pending. So 2,000 bucks at whatever EV percent turns $3 into 50 bucks, into 100 bucks, into whatever, depending on your unit size and how many bets you place. So you can kind of see in the long run just how much money you can make from this type of betting system. The next play that I locked in was at plus 115 odds, Cardinals versus Braves. Yes, run first inning as we can see here. Same exact logic applies on this one. 16 cents in market width. The odds jam line with the VIG removed prices this at plus 110, plus 111. So the gap here equates to roughly 2% profit margin. So higher than some of the lower ones we see here, still not breaking the bank, but the goal isn't to get rich overnight. The goal is to have a sustained betting income from placing positive EV bets. So all in all, two sharp year fee bets for tomorrow. And I also just like to look at the pitching matchup, Mitch pitching matchups, just to kind of see what we're working with here. So the first one between the Mariners and the Guardians looks like two, I mean, one good pitcher, in Luis Castillo, one not so great pitcher in Zach Plesac. Plesac, I don't want to butcher that guy's name. So we got it at plus 120. So the odds are still favoring the other side of it, which you understand when looking at the pitching matchup and these two offenses, but still a chance. They just need one run in six outs. The next game that we took was the Braves and the Cardinals. So if we want to look there, two, again, decent pitchers and Charlie Morton, who's kind of slowed down recently, and Jordan Montgomery, who is a pretty good pitcher. Again, we got this one at plus money. So the most likely scenario is that it doesn't hit, but because we placed both of these bets at plus money, all we need is one of them to hit and we will, and we will have profited from this interaction. So kind of another way of making money betting on sports. And the last thing that I wanna highlight and why I really like both of these bets, I should have mentioned it earlier. Both of these bets are arbitrage opportunities to the odds jam line. So we see the top one, plus 120, to minus 116. What this means is that we could place a bet on both sides and we'll have profited from this transaction, from both of these bets. Whenever you see an arbitrage opportunity, that means one of these books has this line mispriced. Sportsbooks never wanna have the scenario where they're so mispriced that you could place a bet on each side and be profitable, which is why I know that this plus 120 is such a value because it's an arbitrage opportunity to pinnacle the sharpest sports book in the world. If I looked at this on FanDuel, not an arbitrage opportunity, not a sharp bet on FanDuel. The Caesars one is, which shows us it's the sharp bet. Same logic applies here, plus 115 to plus 112. I could place a bet on both sides and make money. I couldn't do that on FanDuel. So again, whenever there is an arbitrage opportunity to pinnacle, that means one of those books is mispriced and more often than not if it's an arb to pinnacle that means that the other sports book is going to have the mispriced line in this case excuse me as i knock my headphones out are both on caesars so all in all two sharp profitable year fee bets for tomorrow i definitely recommend locking these two in and that's all i got so let me know if you're tailing comment on the video like the video subscribe to the ijm youtube channel all that stuff is helpful and that's it so thanks for watching and have a good one